for today to compete in a star search show. You think she'll be shocked when her boyfriend of 16 years finally pops the question? Now, get this one. This young woman actually believes she's going to take part in a karate competition where the winner gets a part in the next Jackie Chan action adventure film. We've got lots more surprise proposals happening today, trust me. One is wilder than the next. Now the question is, will the women say yes to the young men who want them to be their wives? Let's go and find out. Kevin. Kevin says it was almost a year ago that he met a woman named Michelle who turned out to be the love of his life. Now today he wants to propose to her and you're not going to believe this elaborate scheme that he and my producers came up with to get Michelle on the show. In fact, Kevin even got Michelle's mom, Janice, involved and she's here too. Janice, why does your daughter Michelle think she's here today? She thinks she's here to compete for a spokesmodel competition. For, a, for, you know, something like the model of the year or something right, like, like that? A, yeah, spokes model type thing. When I first started telling her, I wasn't sure exactly what we were going to use as the, as the <clears throat> reason that she was going to be here. So we kind of played it along. Well, it was hair, it was skin, and then we kind of came up with the spokes model. So that's what she <laughs> thinks she is. She's competing for well, a Well, we have this model. big, you know, this great big banner and all of that. All right. Michelle is actually backstage right now, and she's having a photo shoot. And she's getting ready for a fashion runway show, thinking she's going to be meeting celebrity judges and, uh, I don't know, God knows what else, right? Okay. Kevin, you have gone to very great lengths to make this proposal special. You have driven us crazy. <laughs> Tell me about your relationship with Michelle. I mean, how'd you meet? And... Um, my friend called me up because he knew I was kind of like on the, on the edge, you know. And he said, you know, I want, I want to go out on a double date. And I said, that's fine. I said, you know, who is it that you want to set me up with? And he goes, well, I like this girl named Michelle, which happens to be the girl I'm dating now. <laughs> and uh, I was like, well, that's, you know, that's fine. I said, who, and she, I said, who is it? And she goes, well, it's her best friend that she's been friends with since she was three years old. I said, well, that's great. Well, we can go out, you know. So we went out, and the whole time, me and Michelle were like, having the eye contact, the conversation was our direction, and Jason's in the background going, what is going on, you know? <laughs> I wanted to go out with this girl, not you. And for the past eight months, there's only been one day that we haven't been together. Now, have you lost your other friend? No, actually, we, I lost him for about two, three weeks, and he finally came to census. <laughs> and now we're friends again, so. What made you decide to propose to Michelle this way, Kevin? Well, she gave me a huge graduation party. I had no clue about it. My whole family was there. People from different parts of the state of Florida were there, you know, to, to be there for me. And I walk in her backyard, and everybody's there. So she's, she told me, you're never going to be able to surprise me like this. And I said, well, we'll see about that, you know. So <laughs> I'm thinking of a different way. And then you come on the show. Have you ever thought about proposing to someone? And I said, oh my God, she's always wanted to go to New York. She likes Sally Jesse Raphael just like I do, and she wants to be proposed to, so All right. that's why I came up with that idea. Boy, Kevin, if this thing doesn't work out, I'm going to look pretty darn <laughs> foolish. You and Mom are in major trouble. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to, we're going to hide Kevin behind one of the stage doors. You, Mom, you have to go into the audience somewhere. Anybody know where to put her? And I'm going to sit next to Annie. Annie is head of Diva Modeling Agency. And she has helped us out with the, the surprise proposal scheme today. So anyone in this audience, you have to go along with me. Got it? Got it. Yes? OK. Don't give anything away. We're going to bring out our modeling finalists. And remember, Michelle is the one we, all these other people we've had to do something with. Michelle's the one who's in for the big surprise. And even you were nice enough to help us. Okay, today we are going to be introducing you to our modeling finalist for Divas Model Search 1996. <laughs> this is our fashion category. We have four finalists in this category who will be modeling some of the latest styles in evening wear, as well as some of the hottest fashions on the beach. So, uh, Annie, your turn. Take it away. Okay, great. Michelle is our...
beautiful. Yes, they, really they do. do. We're going to bring out some of our judges who are off stage in a special viewing room. And what they're going to do is ask these young women some questions, and they're going to help us choose the winner for our Model Search 1996. Please welcome Cliff Strom. Cliff is an advertising executive responsible for giving some of the world's most famous supermodels their first print work. Cliff, what do you want to ask the women? I'd like to know which uh, are the most important qualities that you should have in order to be a success on the cover of a magazine. Well, I believe that the model should believe in herself before anything. Speak up. I believe that the model should believe in herself. Without that, if she doesn't have any confidence, it'll I don't think it could be a success. I would say beauty uh, from inside. Personality yes. is a must. I definitely agree with all the girls. I believe patience is another thing you must have. There's a lot of times you get turned down, you gotta keep on going. Not only beautiful, but smart as well. Well, our next judge is a celebrity in his own right. In fact, I'm not even going to tell you who he is. You're going to understand why in a minute. Mystery judge, come on out. This would be fun. Anybody on the stage recognize him? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you recognize him. Okay. Uh, mystery judge, uh, I understand you have an important question to ask the models? Yes. Just one of the models? Yes, just one. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Say what's on your mind. Michelle, I couldn't hear. What's the verdict? I, I will marry him. <laughs> she, are you, are you surprised, you. Michelle? <laughs> yes, I'm very surprised. And they didn't even say anything. <laughs> Who says models can't keep a secret? And there's some good news, too. There really is a model search, and you really are a finalist. We'll be right back. Next, these two have been together since they were teenagers and they have three children, but she's still waiting for him to pop the question. Well, guess what? Today is her lucky day, but she doesn't know it. She thinks she's here to take part in a talent star search show, and she has no idea that her boyfriend is even here and is moments away from asking her to be his wife. Will she say yes after all these years? Find out next. Today we've been having a lot of fun surprising young women with marriage proposals. What kind of shape are you in, Ruben? Are you all right? I'm all right. All right. <laughs> this is Ruben. His story is a bit unusual, and I will tell you why. Ruben has been involved with the same woman for 16 years. You are not Speedy Gonzalez, Ruben. No, no, no. No. They have three children. They have never gotten married. Why? It's a long story. And after all these years, he's going to propose. Now, his girlfriend, Maribel, is that her name? Waiting backstage and is either going to be very happy or is going to kill Ruben. <laughs> uh, Maribel is a secretary by day, Latin singer by night. She thinks she's here to perform with her group in a star search segment. And we're going to meet her in a few minutes. First, Ruben. 
You met Maribel when you were very young and things happened very quickly between the two of you. That's correct. And uh, she got pregnant and nowhere along the line did it ever occur to you to propose to her? Did you ever propose? Well, I gave her an engagement ring. Right. And we got into an argument and she threatened to flush the ring down the toilet. <laughs> she told me to dare her, I dared her and she flushed it. But I didn't know about it. Now, I, all this time, she's been asking you, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? Well, I've been uh, waiting for my ship to come in. <laughs> it hasn't come in. The ship hasn't come in yet? Not even the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, wh what's the que pasa? Why have you decided now? Why are you ready now? Now would be the right time. I mean, uh -huh. I've never been in front of people like this. So when we're right. going there, she'll get the idea. Now, I really want to get married. Are you worried? I love her too. Are you worried about what she'll say? Well, yeah. We got into a little argument over the weekend. <laughs> from the time we asked you to come to the show till now, you've been arguing? No, from Friday, Saturday, I think. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send Ruben backstage, and we're going to bring out Mirabelle and the backup singers. Everybody is here for the star search. Star search. Say it slowly. OK. Star search. Do not give anything away. OK, today we've been listening to some incredibly talented young people, and I want to introduce to you our next singer. Her name is Mirabelle, and she's going to be performing with her group, Desire. That was really incredible. Thank you, Sally. You are a secretary by day? Yes, I am. <laughs> and are you a mom? Yes, I am, mother of three. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. How do you have time to lead such a double life? It's not easy, Sally. It's, <laughs> it's not easy. Well, I try. I, give my, I devote my time to my kids, but I do also want my career. I know how hard that yes. is. Do you have a dream of any kind? Yes, I do. Private? I have a dream to ha make this my career. I don't want to be a secretary career. by day anymore. <laughs> we hope uh, being here makes your dreams come true. I want to introduce to you our next performer. You can sit there. Thank Male you. Male singer. He says he hopes that his words of love will melt somebody's <laughs> heart today. Come on out.
This is Ruben. Uh, Ruben, you've been planning something special? Uh, Mari. <laughs> I knew you were going to to something. My love. I love you. Been together mm. for a long time. And I guess now I got the gazungas. <laughs> being here in front of everybody. Because I love you. I want to be together with you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> him up for nothing in the world. Of course I'll marry him. Oh. <laughs> Mayor Bell, don't flush it down the toilet, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? That's the wrong handle. Oh. <laughs> you put out this hand. I'm so nervous. You, me too. <laughs> of course I will. No. We'll be right back. <laughs> Next, this young woman thinks she's here to take part in a karate competition where the winner gets a small role in a movie. Well, that's not really happening. What's really going on is her boyfriend is here, and the only part he wants her to play is his wife. Will she say yes? Find out next. Today, love is in the air, and we have some nervous young men waiting all over this building who are moments away from surprising their girlfriends with marriage proposals. And you can't imagine how elaborate some of these schemes are, the schemes that the guys have come up with to get the young women on the show. Are you nervous? Yes, very. Very. This is Jose. His girlfriend, Maritza, is waiting backstage, and she is practicing karate moves with a group of karate experts who are in on the secret. Jose, why in the world would Maritza think she is coming here today to do karate on the Sally Jesse Raphael show. What the heaven's name have you told her? <laughs> How did you put this thing together? Well, uh, basically, I had told her that um, I was on South Beach practicing karate. I've been practicing karate for about 15 years now. And I told her, to make a long story short, I told her I was discovered by uh, <laughs> uh, someone who wanted me to take a screenplay for the uh, Jackie Chan movie that was coming up. And I told her I needed a partner, who, which was a student of mine, and she was a student of mine, so she's here to uh, do a screenplay for the next Jackie Chan movie. So she thinks it's a screen test? Yes. You told us that three years ago you fell in love with the woman of your dreams. How did you and Maritza get together, and what went on? Well, we met in college. Uh, we were both studying criminology. And... So this is karate? Criminology karate? <laughs> well, we met in a criminology fraternity that had a uh, karate team. And I was the instructor of the karate team, and she was one of my students. I see. And we met, and we were very good friends for a very long time. And then uh, we became more than friends. I hear uh, that she's very shy. Yes, she this is. This is going to kill her, friend. Actually, it's going to kill me. <laughs> no, if you take somebody who's very shy and you do this to them. Now, you have proposed to her a year and a half ago, but something happened that made you cancel the engagement and put off the marriage. What happened? Yes, we had decided, you know, we were in that part of our relationship where I, I wanted to propose to her, and I did. And afterwards, her ring that I had bought her got stolen. Whoa. And uh, we live in Miami. Uh, um, but you're law students, right? Yes, we are. You're studying criminology and you're law students. Yes. Okay, so when the ring was stolen, you said, bad omen, let's not do this. We let's decided do it. to put it off until we finished school, which law was school. the logical thing to do. When is law school over? In, an, in another year, so we have a little. But she thinks you've got, she's got a year to wait, right? Yes. Okay, you told us that Maritza has given you things that have changed your life. Like what? Well... 
I, I feel I've changed as a person since I've been with Maritza. I feel that she's given me things and shown me a different type of life that I never knew I could live before. Um, I never thought I would end up going to law school. I never thought of, I could do a lot of things. And she showed me various things, that, there, that there's nothing that I couldn't do. And um, since then, I've, I've felt that there isn't anything that I can't. Isn't that great? I love that. Jose, I don't know a thing about karate. This is going to be a stretch for me, all right? All right. Well, I'll try You're going to go backstage to the green room, and you're going to find the other karate contestants. And they're all going to be coming out momentarily, and they are going to perform karate moves for us. And I'm going to pretend I know what those moves are, <laughs> somehow or another. OK, I want to welcome our karate finalists who are going to demonstrate a series of karate moves. Now, as you all know, <laughs> I've been oh. joking about it for a while, yes. but the winner winners what? will get supporting roles in the next Jackie Chan action adventure film. Jose, you better tell us what we're going to be watching because I haven't got the foggiest. Okay, all right? Sally, what we're going to be seeing is East, meets, East meets West, Okinawan Karate, prearranged fighting techniques. And up, coming back. And up, Benzo. And up. And up. Jose, what the heck are they doing? Like, uh, what, what's next? Okay, now we're going to see a little bit of uh, Taekwondo, which is oh, a good. different I know style what that is. Right. We're going to be having some freestyle fighting techniques. It's what? Freestyle fighting techniques. Freestyle, all right. Oh, my goodness, you'll hurt her. I was worried that you were going to hurt her. Then I was worried she was going to hurt you. Well, I think she got the best of me there. I think so, too. OK, you have any other uh, thing that we're supp a demonstration for us that we're supposed to do? Uh, yes, I have an, another very special demonstration that I like to do. What kind of um, a karate is this? This is karate of love. <laughs> I know you're going to kill me later, but. <laughs> um, I love you with all my heart and soul. And I'm really sorry I had to do this to you, but. <laughs> and if you kill me later, I'd, I'd die a happy man if you were married. <laughs> oh. I surprised you. <laughs> So what are you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> are are you a little surprised, or did you have an I idea? I had no idea. None? I had no idea. I don't know a thing, Maritza, about karate. I don't even know the Chan person uh, or any of that business. Yeah, and, and I apologize, but we're going to have to just go see the movie, all right, rather, <laughs> rather than be in it. Uh, by the way, Jose has been sick to his stomach. Uh, uh, he thinks you're going to kill him after the show. Uh, are you? Uh, no, I, I'll spare his life. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Next, 
this young woman thinks that her boyfriend is here for a job interview, of all things. She's going to get the shock of her life when we ask her to sit in our audience, only to discover that the only job he wants is to be her husband. Will he get the job? Find out next. Now this is Rick. Rick's girlfriend, Melissa, is waiting outside of our studio and uh, she can't imagine why she thinks she's here. Rick, what did you tell her? Um, I told her I applied to an ad that was run in the New York Times for an art and advertising marketing position for multimedia entertainment. Great, that's us. That's Sally Jesse Raphael. Oh, <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your relationship? You got together under some very dramatic circumstances. Yeah, it was a very, very, it was a, a tragedy turned to hopeful, hopefully if she accepts, happiness. Uh, I was going, at the time I was married, I had gotten custody of my daughter and was going through a very bad divorce. At the same time, Missy, uh, her mother, was shot in the, in the head by her stepfather. And then he turned a gun on himself and killed himself. We met at a mutual friend's house, and uh, during that weekend, which was a Memorial Day weekend, I believe it was almost seven years ago, my wife had taken my daughter and disappeared. My daughter was about one at the time, and that was my life. So my heart was broken. I waited 34 years, and uh, she just left. So we really had a, a common grievance, if you will, and we developed a wonderful, wonderful friendship from it. We cried on each other's shoulders. Uh, I was very supportive of her, and she was extremely supportive of me. And I can't think of anybody on this basis. <laughs> Are you nervous about this? I don't know whether I'm nervous about this or it was the dim sum I had last night in Chinatown. <laughs> in my stomach, I do have butterflies, yeah. Butterflies. But, butterflies, but I, no, I'm not nervous at all about the proposal. If I could give her more, I would. Uh, she never, she's never been to New York, so I gave her the big apple yesterday. And now I'm giving her the nation with Aww. the hopes that she'll accept my proposal. All right, we're going to send you backstage and bring Melissa into the audience. She is joining a show in progress, so everybody act normal. We've just uh, been in a commercial break, okay? Today we've been talking to people who uh, want to work in television, which is not an easy thing to do these days. Why they'd want to is beyond me. My next guest says, you can't imagine the lengths people would go to to get a chance to work on a show like ours. Of course, the people who work on it will tell you another story. This is Rick. Isn't Rick supposed to be... Are you not supposed to be upstairs interviewing? I'm sorry? Aren't you supposed to be upstairs interviewing? I did two interviews, yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, I don't know whether I got the job or not. Okay. Why, why are you here? Um, because I'm in love with this woman. You're in love with her? Uh, yeah. What's her name? Melissa Dunsmore. But Hi, Melissa. Hopefully she'll accept my proposal. Oh, a formal, my goodness. A formal proposal. All right, you have to get down your knees. Oh, I know. I understand. That's why I wanted this. Okay, I'll just stand around here. Wait, I have something for you. I, almost, I left it in the bathroom. Um, I'm going to give you this ring and ask you, not only did you want to come to the Big Apple and I got you here, but you, I wanted the nation to see and our children to see how much I really care for you and what a beautiful woman you've been and what you marry me. We'll be right back. Next, he says that his girlfriend's mom has planned their honeymoon, figured out a wedding date, but there's a problem. He's never even proposed. Now today, this young woman is in for the surprise of her life. 
She's a makeup artist who thinks she's here to compete for a chance to work on a Cosmo magazine fashion shoot. She has no idea that her boyfriend is going to ask for her hand in marriage. Will she say yes? We'll find out next. I don't think there's anyone out there who could forget the day that they proposed or were proposed to. So today we've got women uh, all around this building stashed away who have no idea that their boyfriends are here and are planning on asking them for their hand in marriage right on our stage. Right, Bill? That's right. This is Bill. He looks <clears throat> very uncomfortable. Just a little bit. Just is, a it, little. is it the suit, Bill, or is it... It's the, a little hot. It's the hot, it's hot. yes. <laughs> He's here to propose to his girlfriend, Rhonda. I have to tell you, Bill has cooked up this scheme to get his girlfriend here. And let me tell you what's going on. Rhonda is a makeup and hairstylist. Right. Okay. Bill has gotten her bosses to make her think that she's coming on the show to take part in a makeup styling contest where this gets very far-fetched, where the winner gets to work on a major fashion shoot for Cosmo magazine. She is backstage now helping with makeup for some of our guests and will be coming out on our stage soon. She believes she's going to give you guys makeup tips. We have selected some members of our audience. Wait till she finds out Bill is one of the people she's going to be making over. Now, before she comes out, uh, tell me a bit about your relationship. How did you meet? We met about five years ago. Uh, the timing wasn't right. I was seeing other people and she was kind of married, so. Kind of married. <laughs> kind of married, so. And it didn't work out, so uh, I hooked up with her uh, two years ago, and everything was great. I mean, uh, when I first saw her, I was like, that's, I always said that's the girl for me, and uh, I saw her at a bar, at a club one night, and I was with an acquaintance, and I made the acquaintance, she's like, boy, where did you bring your girlfriend this time? And I made the acquaintance admit to her that we have no kind of commitment. I told the acquaintance, don't leave me, though. I need to ride home. <laughs> don't leave me at the bar, OK? But uh, the next day was Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, she tested me. She's like, uh, well, you know, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Would you like to go see a movie? <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do There's nothing better that I can think of doing. So. This woman said to you, you have a choice between the Super Bowl and going to a movie with her, and you chose the movie with her? Yeah, on the timing, yeah. As I understand it, everything that's been happening in your life is happening around you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Let me explain what I mean about that. Her mother has been putting a lot of pressure on you mm -hmm. to get married. Mm -hmm. Mother set the date and put the money down for the honeymoon. Right. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, all of these things are planned. Yeah. I mean... Everything is planned, but I'm not... Can I ask not... you a question? Have you ever proposed to her? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you may be married without a proposal or anything. I guess. I mean, I, I've never seen it that way, but uh, yeah, okay. I've got Okay. All right. I, we are going to send Bill backstage. We're going to bring Rhonda out, and she is going to be giving makeup tips to three pre-selected audience members. So don't give anything away, all right? I'd like to bring out our next makeup stylist who will be competing in the Cosmopolitan Magazine fashion shoot competition. <laughs> this... <laughs> Her name is Rhonda Sutfin. Rhonda, I know you've been doing a terrific uh, job doing uh, some of the makeup for our friends backstage, our guests. I want to thank you for that. <laughs> We have selected three members of our audience who say they want advice on how to improve their looks. Can we bring out our first audience member? This is Wendy. Wendy has told us that she wants tips on how to brighten up her face. Thank you for doing this for us, Wendy. Go ahead. All right. What do you think? What should we do? Um, for one, I would define your eyes a little more. Maybe bring the corners of your eyeliner out just a little bit so that it brings your whole eyes up. And with your blush, kind of just bring it 
down to make your face feel a little bit fuller in the middle. Does make me look younger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bring Let's out bring that. out our next audience member. This is Dina. Dina says she wants to look model. What, well, she wants to look modern. Is there a trend in makeup? Um, actually, right now, not really. It's more or less whatever your taste is. They've gone to a lot of pastel colors. So it's just whatever your preference is. Okay, she's not wearing any makeup. Are you wearing any makeup? No. no. So you better get with the lipstick and the powder. Is that <laughs> what the, well, it's pretty just the way she is. Our next audience member says they need a lot of help. Uh, an important question to ask. So uh, you ready for the challenge? <laughs> These are for you. <laughs> what are you Do you know who he is? <laughs> Hi. Do you have a makeup question? <laughs> well, my nails are a little. <laughs> I got a question for you. <laughs> I need you to have a seat, please. You have to sit down for this one. <laughs> Honey. Love you so much. I was wondering if you'd like to marry me. We'll be right back. <laughs> this is Cynthia Munchnik, who is the author of Will You Marry Me? It is a book on romantic proposals. And the, it's absolutely delightful. So if you are watching and you want to propose in an interesting way, all you do is get Cynthia's book. Now, you're married? Yes, How'd I How'd your husband propose? Uh, my husband and I met in college. And the first place we kissed was in the Rodin Sculpture Garden on our college campus. And three years later, Sally, we had the chance to go to Paris, to the Rodin Sculpture Garden there. Uh, we happened to be big Scrabble buffs. So our travel Scrabble set was with us. <coughs> and we sat on a park bench to play Scrabble. And about halfway through the game, Adam put the word Mary down on the Scrabble board. And I started to giggle because he opened up a triple word score, which you never do when you play competitive Scrabble. So I said, I started to laugh. He said, what's wrong? And uh, I said, why would you do that? And he said, why don't you read the board? And I said, what? And he said, here, what does this say? And he pointed and it said, Will. Somewhere else it said, you. Mary and me, and he had scattered the words throughout the game. And uh, <laughs> here, Scrabble letters, these were the favors on their wedding that they had, and it's done with Scrabble letters, and yes. they bought one for me. I think that it's important, isn't it? Why? It's important to have a creative proposal because why not start off your life together with a bang? I think a marriage proposal is a story that you can pass on for years to come. It will be told and retold like a folk tale in your own family. And all of these people here have wonderful stories that they'll be able to tell many times and videos to watch. We'll be right to back. Go with it. from uh, watching this show, I think that these are extraordinary men who would come. There's something very, very special about these men who would plan this and come and do something like this. And these ladies are very, very lucky to have them. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you.